Hey y'all, so I'm out in the field right now. I've been out here for a week now, but you already know that ain't stopping nothing. So this book right here is what got me going down the rabbit hole. The theory that we live within the ice walls and beyond the ice walls, there are other lands that we have not yet discovered. Now in that book, Admiral Richard Byrd is mentioned. This man made several expeditions to Antarctica and he was the first to fly over the South Pole. One of these expeditions he made was called Operation High Jump. Richard Byrd has a whole diary explaining his journey and what he saw. Don't take my word for it. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Admiral Byrd, you've been to both the North Pole and the South Pole. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole because it's getting crowded up there now because they find out it's really usable. Not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. That's a tremendous So challenge. there's a lot of adventure left down at the bottom. I guess he said too much because shortly after that interview, he died in 1957. And then a year later, NASA was created. And a year after that, the Antarctic Treaty was signed. The Antarctic Treaty is an agreement between all of these countries that forbids anyone from owning Antarctica or basically going there. I just want to know what are they hiding? Now, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. The Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. We have never been to space. We have never left the Earth's atmosphere. We haven't been to the moon. We can't leave. The Earth is flat. In 1962, the government performed Operation Fishbowl. They sent a bunch of nukes up into the air. What is the point? of sending nuke after nuke after nuke into the air. They were trying to break the firmament. And look at the name, Fishbowl, Operation Fishbowl. They are literally telling us in our faces and yet we still don't believe. 